Hey everybody, today I'm Henry Tattoos. I'm gonna show you how to make a McDonald's McRib burger. Let's get straight into it. So guys, just in front of me here, I've got 700 grams of pork spare ribs. Now these are already sliced up, I just asked my butcher to do that, it's just easier to work with. Now all we need to do is take all the meat off and make sure there's no bones. So just follow the bones and dice around. We don't want any bones in this at all. Now guys, if you are in doubt, just ask your butcher, say you want spare rib mints, and they'll be more than happy to do it for you. If not, then find a new butcher, because they have to do it. So guys, you should pretty much end up with boneless meat like that. So now you've got two options. If you have a food processor, you can just mince this in there. If you have a food mincer, I'm just going to use that. So we want to use a fine attachment for this. Alright guys, so now that our mince is ready, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of sugar, and a special ingredient, one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And we'll also add about three, two to three teaspoons of water, just to help this all bind together. And just mix that around. Now once again, if you are doing it in the food processor, add everything into that, that's fine. So now we're going to place a sheet of baking paper here, so when we form them, we put them onto these. So guys, you just want to grab handfuls of your mixture like so, and just in your hands, just turn it around, just like a dough ball. And we want to go for a sort of cylinder shape like that, like a hash brown, and begin to start just flattening it down like that. Make sure you don't go too thick. Although it doesn't really make a difference because we're just doing this at home. Which I can guarantee is going to be much better than McDonald's. So guys, that's one patty done. Now if you really want, just use your finger to make little scores in it like that. But it's unnecessary. So now we'll do another one. Same principle, just in your hand into a bowl. Make sure you leave the gap, don't let them stick together. It's just gonna create a mess. So guys, this is both ready. I've got enough left for another one too. So this recipe will be enough for three burgers. Unless you wanna of course put three patties in one, that's completely up to you. So guys, what we're gonna do with these patties is place them into the freezer. You wanna leave them in there for at least about 30 minutes. Let it harden up or else it's gonna be hard to cook. So guys, now you can just buy any sort of rib barbecue sauce if you like, or you can just make it. In my case, I'm just going to make it. So just here, I've got about half a cup of tomato ketchup. To this, we're going to add one tablespoon of brown sugar, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and about a teaspoon of crushed garlic. All we want to do is mix this all together and bring it up to a simmer. So guys, just like that, our barbecue sauce is now ready. So we'll set that to the side. And we'll start cooking our patties. So just into a large pan, we're going to add about a tablespoon of oil. Now I'm just using a griddle pan, but it doesn't matter, you can use any pan. You can even grill these if you like. Once your pan is up to temperature, we'll place our patty straight in. Now, as the patties are thin, the cooking process won't take that long. So we'll just wait until the sides start to brown. Guys, so once the sides start to brown like that, we'll just flip them over. So now, while it's almost ready, we'll start to get our bread ready. So you just want to very lightly toast the soft bun. Alright guys, so it's been enough for 2 minutes on this side. So I've just turned my heat off. So 
So we're going to set that pan aside and bring back our barbecue sauce one. Get your patty and place it straight into your sauce. Make sure you flip it over as well. Make sure it's smothered in the sauce. And guys, just place your McRib patty straight onto your roll. Add your sliced pickles and some coarsely chopped white onion. And guys, just look at that. Our McRib is ready. And there we have it, guys. Simple as that. Now you can enjoy this delicacy whenever you like. It doesn't have to be only once a year or whenever it is McDonald's brings it out. Here in Australia, it rarely, rarely comes out. I hope you like that, guys. Please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom, and I'll see you all next time.